Well, howdy guys and girls, welcome back to a new video. Now, if you do enjoy them, do take time to give them a thumbs up, give them a um, comment, drop me a message if you need any information that I can possibly give advice on, um, with reason. <laughs> um, and um, if I'm not available to reach straight away via YouTube comments, you can also pick me up on my Instagram page and message me on there. So what are we doing this evening? Well, it's very dull. It's very nice actually for the time of year. That's um, very pleasantly mild. You could say it's really, really nailed on conditions for a decent barbel. It's also very good perch conditions. But we're out this evening. We are after a barbus or a chevin or both. <laughs> so what are we um, using today? Well, pick this lovely little pin up about three months ago, two and a half to three months ago. Now it's a Shakespeare, those of you who know your centre pins, that's a Shakespeare Century, um, Mark III. Uh, this is, I'm Mark I, this is Mark III. <laughs> Century Mark III, I do believe it also comes under the um, similar model that Shakespeare make, if not identical, and that's the Eagle. But yeah, so on the centre pin this evening, won't bore you with the setup, it's a low resistance, very free running rig, using a back leg further up to pin the line down. Uh, Drennan gravel braid and an um, ESP cryogen gripper hook. So that's the sum of it. But going on to the rod, now I'm trying to fully jinx myself this evening. So this is a new rod and obviously this is a new second hand but new to me, centre bin reel. So fully trying to tackle jinx myself with new tackle but these, these rods look really nice. I decided to pick one up, that's a black rock and that's a one and quarter pound test curve rod that's a black rock all rounder and as i say that's um one and a quarter pound test curve and it's got a sport action to it which is labeled on it a sport action very nice understated blank i've got to say i'm quite impressed with the cork because on some of the mid-range rods they do use a lot of filler normally on the cork and um, i've got to say that yeah it looks pretty good now this cost me 49 pounds um this particular one the all rounder 125 test curve it comes in, you can get it in 7 foot, 8 foot, 9 foot, 10 foot, 11 foot, and I think 12 as well. Now, I would have gladly got a 9 foot rod, which was just what I wanted. You know, one quarter pound test curve for fishing for barbel and chub on um, sections of river where you might hit a really good barbel as well. But you wanted a nice kind of parabolic action. Now, I would have quite happily got it in 8 or 9 foot, as I say, but they don't have stock of these smaller sizes until, uh, I think it's next spring. So it's going to be a while before they come in stock, but they have got the like the 9s, uh, not the 9s, 10s, 11s and 12s. So although I couldn't get the 8s, 9s or 7s, I decided to get a 10 foot one of these. As I say, £49. Be nice to put a bend in it this evening with a healthy hard fighting barbers. Got a lovely looking river behind me. A moody old girl. If you know, you know. <laughs> Those who fish it will know it. Um, but yeah, can be a moody river. Might bust my testicles this evening. Might give the old centre pin a screaming take as well, but that's fishing. You can never tell what's going to happen. Never tell when it's going to happen. Hopefully, we get to christen the pin and this rod. I really do think I've been testing it at home, as you do, you know, the line through the eyes, giving it a good pull round and putting a nice through action into it. It's absolutely lovely. So hopefully we can get that christened. Now, um... Ground bait wise, I've got a small amount of 30 second hemp. With most of the small rivers that I fish, I don't use a lot of bait. People think, just assume, I think, well, not everyone obviously, but few people do assume because you can get hold of bait and ground bait quite readily that you're going to be piling the bait in. That's the only reason you catch. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't like using much ground bait. I'm not someone that feels the, the urge as such that putting in more bait is going to get me more fish or bigger fish. I always think it lessens your chances, especially on the lower stocked waterways where barbel concerned as well. Obviously I tailor it to suit the river if it was say the middle seven or the uh, upper lee where there's fish competing you know then you can obviously use more ground bait but I'm not one to hump bait in so there's a little bit of the mainline, I think that's is mainline, sweet marine there's a hemp in there and quite a nice amount of bird seed. More, probably more bird seed, I'd say, and hemp than there is uh, ground bait. That just gets it down there. Gives off a nice, sweet, really, what's the word, what's the word I'm looking for? Sweet and savoury kind of scent trail and fishy aroma. Now, bait-wise, I'm not messing about. 
Um, obviously, these are actually hook baits. These don't get put in at all as ground bait. These, what you see here, just happen to be already in the bag. So I could have bought, I could have bought three or four with me this evening, but I just grabbed the bag. They are my mainline 50/50 mixture of my own choice that I make up via the mainline 50/50 um, base mix. That's got quite a high yeast profile, meat profile as well, and um, they are rock hard. As I say, they are only for hook baits. So that's the sum of it. Got a little bit of matching paste to wrap round, and um, yeah, fingers crossed. As I say, a lovely looking swim behind us. Got a um, constricted area of the river as it's funneling through a few little snags, and it's just picking up a little bit of steady pace. Going to fish quite close into the tree on my right, just off the edge of the flow, and um, as I say, it's um, great conditions. But as we all know. You know, you, you do your best to curry the odds in your favour when you can, if you can get out on that particular day. But this is, and can be, a moody waterway, but it is my blood and life source as such. It's really deep in my heart, always has been, and it's been a river that's been interwoven with um, the tapestry of my fishing life. So, even if I blank or catch, it doesn't really matter, because... I'm very much used to its moods and I'm sure it's very used to my moods you know so yeah very sentimental I'm getting very sentimental it's the old age <laughs> anyway let's crack on let's get a little bit of ground bait in the spot and set up get cast out as darkness falls and we will be fishing a bit into darkness um, although it's forecast to hammer down a bit later I have brought with me a massive umbrella absolutely huge Look at that. It's absolutely should keep me dry. Doubt it. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on, shall we? Enough of the pissing about. We're in guys. We're in guys. Absolute screaming tank. Oh. Real good tank. It's a good fish. Oh. At least it feels a good fish anyway. Or oh, a very lively one. Oh, it is a good fish. It's a decent fish. Decent fish. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a way to christen the rod, eh? And the new second hand pin. <laughs> Wonderful.
There you go. Happy days, eh? Happy days. Not a bad fish. Yes, Chris and the pin, Chris and that rod. That felt lovely playing them on that 125 test curve. Yes, brilliant. Really, really happy. Happy, happy days. Good, good to Chris and that new rod and the centre pin. My friend was just, just messaged me on the phone. He goes, Good luck if you get one. Hope you get one kind of thing. And as soon as he said it, the pin was away. It's beautiful. Always welcome. Beautiful condition. It's got a little bit of scarring on the town there at the top lobe. But apart from that, it's a rather nice barbers. And a bloody good scrap at that. What a lovely looking fish. Yes, very happy. Look at those barbules. Just pull myself back. There you go. What a cracker. I'm happy. I'm bloody happy. And who wouldn't be? Anyway, let's get this beautiful creature slipped back. Well, eh? What a fantastic trip. Absolutely made up with that. And I was keeping an eye on the barometric pressure and it went dipped down to 1007 by the time I got to the river. And I was hoping for a bite, very, very hopeful. But as can be the case on this particular waterway, it can be you know, you can have all the um, conditions in your favour, but she'll still, she still give you a slap round the face and a kick in the testicles. And, um, yeah, just as, as a friend said to me, well, good luck, hope you get one. As soon as he said that, he's one of my, one of my followers in um, Holland, Dicky, Dicky, or Stalking for Moments, as he's known. And, um, yeah, we always keep in touch with each other. I don't think there's a time that we really don't have a word and see how each other are get, getting on. And... Um, the last few times that he's messaged me and said good luck or I think you'll get one as soon as he said it as soon as he said it this time as well um, the, oh well you probably heard me swear there the pin Jesus Christ I grabbed hold of that just at the wrong moment I tried to be as quick as I could and um, got my fingers well and truly smashed I tell you what they are they are buzzing my knuckles got well and truly wrapped up by the centre pin as you probably heard I did swear Apologies to anyone who's a bit sensitive, but you know, it's the height of the moment and the um, adrenaline plus the fingers getting smashed by the centre pin. But yeah, lovely looking barbers. Beautiful condition. And a very, very fine hard fighting fish. Nice to christen that um, Shakespeare eagle. How is it? Sentry. I keep getting mixed. That's a sentry. Yeah, Shakespeare sentry free centre pin. Cost me £12. Bought that second hand. Lovely condition. And... Um, yeah, it's always, a, it's always, oh, it's so exciting. I love christening new tackle. And the um, rod is the uh, black rod, a uh, black rock even, black rock all rounder, the one called to Tesco. Beautiful action to that. It's got what they call sport action. So it's a parabolic action. And um, very nice playing that fish on it. Always nice to christen a uh, new piece of tackle, let alone two pieces of tackle, one second hand but new to me and one brand new. But I do want to get another one of these rods but I want to get it when they've got it in stock at eight or nine foot in length but yeah wow so happy with that um, yeah wonderful very very enjoyable hope you've enjoyed this um, short video um, it's always as always a pleasure to bring you guys it always a pleasure to pick up a fish on the center pin I have been mainly using fixed ball reels this season so yeah it was cracking uh, apologies for anyone that had their ears crackled a bit by leaving me leaving the check on the pin it's got a wonderfully strong check on that i tell you what it's a lovely lovely check it's just perfect for barbel fishing on a bit of in a bit of flow yeah oh i'm absolutely over the moon really am guys always enjoy my fishing and um you know the highs and the lows but fish from this particular river they're worth a lot worth a lot as i say those who know it will know anyway I'll see you on another Fishing for Memories video. Take care, guys. See you all soon.